Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, last time you were here, I redesigned the Pringles logo. And after I uploaded that one, my little brother called me like immediately and he said, have you seen the news about the Firefox logo? And I hadn't, but basically if you're not familiar, they redid their logo so that it took the fox fully out of it. Right now it's just like kind of fire going around a circle. It's just yet again an example of when a company tries too hard to be modern and minimalist and it just comes off as losing the character of what the actual logo used to be. Now, I don't personally care that much because I haven't used Firefox in who knows how long, but I still thought it would be fun to try to redesign that logo. So, without further ado, today, we're gonna be redesigning the Firefox logo. To start out, I'm gonna open Procreate on my iPad, and I have some references in here of what I'm thinking about doing, but basically, I mean, a fox has ears, and I think that those could easily be flames. So my thought with it is, it seems like they wanna keep this circle going, but I don't know why. They're like an icon living on a desktop, so it can really be anything. So I think I'm going to try to design a flame logo that looks like it has fox ears and maybe some features. Cause they also seem to wanna be keeping this purple in there for some reason. So I thought that it would be a good idea to maybe add some fox features in there with this purple, but who knows? We're just gonna play around and see what we come up with. Okay, I'm kind of liking how this looks so far. Um, I think I'm gonna have to bring it into Illustrator and clean it up a little bit in there, but so far I don't hate where it's going. Um, it looks like a fox that's on fire, which is literal, but also I think we can make it cute. So now I'm gonna take the purple that they seem to want so badly, and I'm gonna start trying to add in some like foxy features with it. I don't know. I don't hate it at the moment, but I'm definitely going to have to bring it into Illustrator and see what else I can do with it. I'm happy with the ears and the, the purple, but I think it needs to be a little more geometric, like as a whole. So I'm gonna play with that with the pen tool and I'll see you there. I have the new logo over here for reference. And I think what I wanna do, start doing with this is just making it more of a geometric shape, everything cleaner, crisper, but I, I like the color combos and I don't think I wanna make it like the gradient like they have on theirs. So I think I'm just going to start kind of outlining what I've done with the pen tool and see if I can come up with more of a cleaner shape. Okay, so far I'm hating everything I'm doing. Okay, okay, okay. We're good, we're going fine.
Okay, we've gotten our basic shapes together, and I actually really like the direction it's going. I added like an actual circle behind it to make sure it still felt like purposeful and a logo. But now what I'm gonna do is start going in with the fox features and see how I can make those look professional. Um, I might have to change the color a little bit because I don't know why, but this purple just is not standing out so much from the fox for me. So it might need to get darker or lighter depending, but we'll cross that bridge in a minute. Upon further looking at this, I decided not to put the eyeballs on there because they were just kind of making it look a little too cartoony and like more about the character than the it being a logo. So I took the eyes off and I think I'm going to play around with making maybe like the nose bigger and maybe cleaning up the um, little ear thingies right here so that... It just looks overall a little bit more clean, but you can still tell what I'm trying to get at with the fox. Okay, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. <clears throat> I really like it. Like, I like that it's a fox, and yet it's on fire, fire fox. But, I mean, it is literal, but it also looks, like, really, I like it a lot. I'm going to maybe add a little gradient in there. Okay, I finished adding all the drop shadows in there, giving them everything a gradient and making it a little more in line with what Firefox like used to look like and has been going for, but still giving it that fox. So here is the old logo and here is my final redesign. And here is the final result. I'm really happy with it. I love, love, love after I added all those gradients on there. It turned out really good in my opinion, but let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Um, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much again for coming on this design journey with me. Um, I've done another one of these videos before, like I said, about Pringles. So if you want to watch that, um, I'll put it up here. If you like this video, please give it a like, give it a comment, um, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to put out videos weekly, but I've said that before, so who knows, but I'm trying. Before I jump off of here, I just wanted to say thank you all so much for the love you guys have been giving me on TikTok. Um, if you aren't following me there, you should go check it out. I'm low-key popping off there right now. But yeah, your support means a lot to me, and it's so fun for me to make these videos every week and see you all comment on them and let me know what you like and don't like and critique my stuff and i'm just having a lot of fun doing it so i just want to say thank you all again until next time bye guys